at the Pokespot. It's the Pokemon from the ship. And it's crying despite the fact that it's smiling. Seems to be a common theme with Bond's light. Anyway, you want to approach it as slowly as you can. Barely nudge that control stick. Walk on your tippy toes. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you cannot do this with the D-pad. If you play using the D-pad, switch to the analog stick. Because D-pad has one walking speed, and even though I've tried tapping the D-pad to try to get there slowly, it didn't count. So, just to be on the safe side, use your analog stick. Okay, here we go. Come on, almost there. Yes, I know this is, must be painful to sit through me moving this slow, but you have to move really slowly or else it won't count, and you get close to it, and... Wait a minute, you weren't stomping your feet all around. You may not be such a bad guy after all, it thinks. Captured Bonsai, let's turn it to its owner. I didn't capture it, it was just staring at me. What, it counts as catching something if you just stare at it? Well, it's kind of how Ash caught most of his Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Yo, Michael, it just figures. It would take you to find that lost Bonsai. We collected data using ONBS's resources and couldn't find a trace of it. Yes, you couldn't stick a piece of cheese out in the desert and stick a radar designed by Duking, who is a friend of yours. No, your entire news station couldn't come up with that. Totter and Bonsai are overjoyed. See for yourself. Yay, thank you, I believed in you. That sounds very, very forced, little girl. B -b -b Bonsly! I just realized she has little Pokeballs in her hair. That's kind of cute, actually. This is something that stands for our gratitude. Please accept it. We got the Bonsly card! That is a card for Battle Bingo back at Real Gam Tower. Now, that doesn't sound like anything really all that special. But this card is actually something really, really cool, and I would like to talk about it. A useful attack thanks to the Power Herbs introduction in Gen 6, but... What I didn't know, just because I haven't really looked into Gen 6 competitively all that much, is that there is a certain new Pokemon that's amazing at using Sky Attack and is like an absolute god using it competitively. That Pokemon is Halucha. Probably the only new Pokemon in X and Y that I don't like at all is the one Pokemon that is actually amazing at using the attack that I've wanted to be useful since the beginning of time. My favorite looking attack is a match made in heaven for one of my least favorite Pokemon ever. Go figure. Ugh, I hate Halucha so much, I'm sorry. Anyway, not enough about that. Let's not be negative about that. New move, double edge. More accurate and more powerful than take down, but you take more recoil damage. That does not matter to me, however, because I got me a Billy Bob, and Billy Bob does not take the recoil damage. I am so, so stupid. Anyway, take down 90 power, 85 accuracy. <laughs> no, I'm getting rid of that for double edge. All right, so we got some really, really offensive moves now. I am feeling really good about this move set. Here we go. And that does it. We now have double edge. I don't really think I need to learn any more moves here. I might change my mind at a later point. Not like I can't come back here whenever, but you know what I mean. Next, if you go see Gonzap after Cypher Key Lair, he is back in his awesome chair, but he's too manly to sit in it. Ah, it's the kid, how things turned out. The look on your face tells me it went well, though. Good work. If I had underlings like you, Team Snagum would be set for life. But you wait. One of these days, I'll rebuild Team Snagum to its former glory. When that happens, you'll be our sworn enemy. Don't be surprised when it happens. Gahaha! <laughs> oh, Gonzap is upbeat as ever. <laughs> My audit. Oddish! What? Yeah, there is a bit of a typo here that I haven't really seen documented before. Yeah, my oddish was useful, not gloom, oddish. If you have trouble sleeping, it'll have you snoring in no time. <laughs> yeah, never really understood why that was like that, because all the other references of that Pokemon in the game call it a gloom. Not often you see a typo on a Pokemon game, but hey, there you go. Oh, okay. What about you? I became a trainer at this age, so I've been coming here daily to learn more about what training involves. But wow, I see you're already raising Pokemon at your age. I consider that impressive. All right, I'll do my best to keep up with you. Guy, I thought every 10-year-old got Pokemon and left home at that age. You're behind the times, man. Um, oh, also, about Battle CDs, I didn't mean that I won't ever show them. I just mean that I'll show them at another time, just because it's kind of think it would get in the way at this point. Anyway, on to the Pokemart. Hey, buddy, it's been a while since we've seen you. What's up? Aw, finally, the merchandise selection is the best in Ori. My dream doesn't end here. I want to be the best shop in the world! Oh, no, I beg your pardon. Uh, Max Potion and uh, Full Restore, would you like some? Yeah, so if you want to buy any items, uh, I would highly suggest that you stock up on some Ultra Balls. 
I think I'm gonna go for, uh, we'll say 20 of these. If you ever want more, don't worry, you can leave Citadark Isle anytime you want. Your Robo Kyogre's not cut off from you, though, so don't buy as though you won't get another chance to come here. It's just that if you don't want to backtrack, you probably shouldn't do that. But that does it. It is time for us to leave. Storm their base! Only to get stopped by a very slow walking sailor who seriously couldn't catch us if he tried. Yeah, we just stopped to say Adam because we're blind. Hey, you, the thing you're riding on, it's kind of cool. I have this feeling about you in a port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. I do have a problem if someone shows up here without passage on our boat. Absin! If this guy does not have an Absol, I will be seriously, seriously disappointed. I mean, it's a match made to have an Absin's Absol, it'd be great. Here we go. We have defeated you, Absin, and you do not have an Absol after all. You are Ab Absol. Get it? Because Ab means, like, without... I'm so stupid. Okay. Golduck fled somewhere. Where were... Okay, I would say where would he flee here, though, but I can just picture Golduck jumping in the water and swimming off. Darn it, I gotta report this. Yeah, he's really in a hurry to go report that. <laughs> it fades to black, and he's, like, walking into there very slowly. I can just picture, like, the two hours later from Spongebob popping up at that point. Uh, all right, what do we got over here? What do you have to say to me? Huh? How'd you manage to get to this island? You rode that here? That's awesome! Even Mr. Farrick, the world's richest man, doesn't have one of those. Oh, aye, it excites the sailing man's heart. Listen, how about letting me take a ride sometime? Sure, you can take a ride if you want. That's right, that's the spirit of a man at sea. Uh, you mean a sea man? Okay, I'm so stupid. I don't know if this is a much thanks, but I found this in the ship. Battle CD number 31. Yeah, kind of odd for them to have a battle CD here of all places, but hey. That guy found a CD in Varric's ship and decided to just steal it because he's rich, I suppose. First. He usually never leaves the Luxo cruiser. Or he's off to it in such a hurry. Oh, I know! You chased him up! <laughs> just joking. Wanna race me? Excuse me, sir. I like to think that I... Fergie? Uh, that's enough to make me forget what I was saying to you in the first place. Yeah, Fergie. Fergie. Uh, that sounds like a really, really dopey nickname for somebody named Ferguson. It just like, hi there, Fergie. What's going on today? Uh, I, 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 I don't know. That's all that really comes to mind. Got a sailor. What are you doing? You're walking very slowly towards me. You got swagger like Zook. I should be swabbing down Master Grievo's Luxo Cruiser, but I'm completely lost. What's wrong with me? I've got, I got to buck up and focus. Hey, kid. What say we battle? Uh. My head was gonna pop if I kept that up. Um. Sure, but I'll fight you off-screen because... yeah. <laughs> I don't back-talk to any tough battler, he says. What if we talk to him again? Oh no, he just says the same thing. Okay, I was kind of hoping he would have a bit of an ironic line, but oh well. And for those of you that were sad about missing Dodrio's first battle, don't be. The guy started off with entirely rock-type Pokémon, in fact, his entire team was rock-type, so I didn't get a chance to use Dodrio, so don't worry about that. Okay, let's hope that we have better chances over here. What is over here? Hey, buddy! Huh? Maybe. Are you someone suspicious? Yeah, you can totally ask me that to my face, and I will answer you truthfully. Jetzel! That's awesome! That's like an evolution of Floatzel! That, that sounds cool! Jetzel? I'm a fan of your name, man! Like, I think like the name Jet is already awesome to begin with, though, but you just take it one step further, man. I got no qualms with your Iranian name. Alright, so we're gonna send out Billy Bob and Dodrio here. So we got two heavy hitters out. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Iron Tail and Sneasel right here, just because I think that's the best move that I could do starting off, quite frankly. I'm not overly worried about that Giraffe Rig, but just in case Billy Bob misses... Uh, no, I'll, I'll leave Sneasel with Billy Bob, okay. Oh, 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 ow. If that Sneasel gets to attack, that is gonna hurt. Screech on Sneasel is a brutally good move here. Ah, uh, that's gonna be painful if that Sneasel gets to attack. Oh god, uh, stomp. Please don't. CRITICAL! Well, that was a good first battle, Dodrio! Uh, now I'm gonna have people going like, God, that was such a bad choice for a last team member now that that happened. Okay, I think you can understand that that was just super terrible luck that he was packing Screech. I... Uh. You really were someone suspicious. Yeah, you think? Well, we entered the base of Citadark Isle, we got ourselves a new team member, we snagged a fair number of new Shadow Pokemon, and our new team member had a hilariously unlucky first battle. 